All right, guys, so this is uh, just a quick video I wanted to share with you. Um, this is the old muffler off of my Buell, and um, I thought that it was completely stock. You thought wrong, dude. And um, let's see if I can get a good shot of this for you. Gosh, I keep getting right in the light. So this is what... I saw it first and I thought, hmm, that cannot possibly be factory. Oh, that's not right. No. There's no way, right? And then this stuff. Freak! Ah! Get out of here! Literally fell off. Crumpled up inside of here as well as these other pieces of metal. That piece was right here, the surface, and so was this, um, that too. So basically I cut out three sections of the muffler and the intent was to um, just clean it up and um, fix the dents, pound out the uh, dents that were in the bottom of it, grind it all down, repaint it, and uh, sell it as a used kind of refurbished muffler. And, um, yeah, no, no, I don't know. It makes for good entertainment, I guess. Um, I am going to still work with it. I mean, it sounded good, except that I noticed that um, there were times when I'd hear this weird flapping noise in my exhaust. And I had assumed it was the uh, active exhaust system. Well, this doesn't have the active exhaust, which threw me off. I was like, well, there must be something loose in there. Yeah. There definitely was something loose in there. So, and, and literally, aside from this one bit piece, this is the state it came out. So it, it was literally just flopped inside and doing whatever. It's funny because you could bang on the side of the muffler and it didn't make any sound. Like, so it was somehow stabilized. Like there was enough tension on all the parts so that when you banged on the muffler, it wouldn't, it wouldn't clank or anything like that. And in the only time I would hear this weird flap noise, I don't know how to describe it. But it was literally like a flap. It would, um, it would only be, you know, after getting off the interstate, shutting the bike off, filling up with gas and getting back on. That's when I would hear it. Here's the remainder of this masterpiece. Where did you ever get this mess? I bought it here. Oh, what a beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> so the this is this goes up to the engine. That's part right there. Let me get my flashlight so this will help. Guess I should have had this out in the first place. So this goes up. And out right there. I'm gonna shine on that. <laughs> Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Sorry. So that's the uh, part that goes up to the engine. Comes down. And we come out and do something here. Go back up. Hit this baffle, which would further reduce sound. And then I'm assuming it would exit here. And then either have an, a single side exit exhaust or... It already had a dual exhaust and would kind of dump and um, flow out both. Whenever you have a dual tip like that, um, typically it's to reduce sound. I mean, it, it does sound different and a lot of times it does sound better. I don't know that it really improves flow. And I can tell you that I very much doubt that this setup, especially with all that crap, did anything to help performance. <laughs> it's so crazy. So crazy. I mean, I'm just wondering. I mean, this is definitely torch action right here. It looks to be torch. Someone got after it with a oxyacetylene and just basically stuck the nozzle down in there and went to town. And um, this must have gotten torn up in the process and whoever it was just thought it was a good idea to leave it in there. Crazy, man. It just, it, it never ceases to amaze me the... 
I guess you could call it redneck engineering that I run into on these used bikes. Every time I get something used or something oddball, it's usually wiring. This is a this is a first for me, man. <laughs> this just makes me laugh. Like I can't believe I rode this bike and somebody else rode this bike for however many miles in this state. I mean, it was working and it sounded pretty good. You know, it had a good clean idle. There was no oddity there. It's just that is crazy to me just flopping around i wouldn't even think to do that like i would pull that out and then leave it like that 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 makes more sense than that i don't know if you're a redneck and you understand help me to understand by commenting below all right guys until next time peace out and don't do this mm <laughs>